up to him on the podium. Just yeah. the sheer impact of the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, it, it was really cool to see you know, how fired up the city was and just watching like fans get interviewed and how emotional they were. You know, a lot of people have been waiting a long time for this. And um, it, uh, I mean, and I've been waiting, you know, a lot of these players have been waiting a long time for this personally. So it's, uh, it's really, really an unbelievable moment. Um, the emotions are just, I mean, it's hard to describe. When you sit back and think about how much work went into it and how long you wait for it and how badly you wanted it. Um, and just, I mean, all the circumstances about how it happened, it, it was just an unbelievable season. Um, unbelievable football game. I mean, Tom Brady throws for 500 yards and scores 33 points and we win. Like, come on. Like, it's, it's unbelievable. You know what I mean? Um, it's just unbelievable game, unbelievable day, and I uh, can't wait to, you know, enjoy the parade and, and enjoy it. And then even look on the other side, Nick Foles, back up quarterback, comes in and throws for almost 400 yards, yeah. three touchdown passes, catches a touchdown pass in the same game. That's just almost as, as unbelievable as what you were just talking about. Maybe. I know, I know, Foles is unbelievable. I'm <clears throat> um, so happy for him. Um, he's such a great guy, you know, he's been through a lot in his career, and um, for him to have that moment. Just seeing him up on the stage with his little kid, it was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is so cool. Um, so happy for him and, and, and for all these guys. This kind you, of like a bittersweet day for you at Locker Queen that day, knowing that not everybody's going to be back. Oh, uh, I, I didn't occur to me to be bittersweet, to be honest. Um, it's pretty much just sweet at this point. Um, every other last day of the season I've, I've been on was bittersweet. <laughs> this is this is just sweet. Um, I mean, yeah, some guys will be gone. That's that's the way this works, but. Um, I mean, a lot of these guys will be back, and um, I mean, I'm, I'm trying not to think about next year yet. I mean, it, I'm going to soak this in for a while first. Have you, Did you uh, is your voice raspy because you're sick, or you've been <laughs> just from uh, celebrating? Um, I'm kind of sick, okay. but uh, yeah, I, I definitely lost my voice Sunday night from from yelling and whatnot. But uh, didn't sleep much, you know, Sunday, mm -hmm. got sick a little bit, but, you know, who cares, right? And limping a little bit, and, uh, who cares, we won. It's all good. That's what, right. What did you do during the game? Was it an ankle? Uh, yeah. What did you do to it? I don't know. I'll find out in a couple minutes here. I haven't even talked to the doctors, really. All I know is I taped it up and just kept playing. Wasn't about to miss the Super Bowl, you know. Have you even watched the film yet? No. I mean, I watched the TV copy, um, but I, I don't watch like, well, the you film. Guys, you guys had some really huge early holes. Um, you know, we'll, why? Why? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's what we do. You know, we got a really good O line, um, good tight ends that can block. We had a great, some great schemes. Um, we we thought we had an advantage in that matchup, our O line versus their front seven. Um, we did a great job. Um, had a good plan, planned it all week, worked our butt off all week, and um, you know we were physical and. Um, Running backs did a great job, and uh, it, was, it was fun to be a part of. What about this O-line group? It's just, is this, uh, you know, this was one of the key reasons the Eagles won the Super Bowl through the whole season and in the, the top game. It wasn't like you guys were along for the ride or anything. I mean, you were one of the, you were dominant, I would say. How does that, can you process that? Does it feel, how does it feel? And, and what's the group like, you know, what's it been like uh, since, since you won? Yeah, I mean, the groups, you know, we're obviously really fired up. Um, you know, we put a lot of work into to get here. And, um, I mean, it's a really tough group, really physical group, really smart um, a group that paid attention to detail. Um, there's a lot of planning and talking and film study that goes into, um, you know, making it look good on game day that you wouldn't necessarily notice. But um, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears goes into it. But... Um, you know, guys are willing to sacrifice and, and, and put in extra time and extra thought and extra effort. And, and ultimately, all that stuff paid off. I mean, they, say, they say that health is almost as important as talent when in this game. It hasn't been the case with you guys this season. I mean, you've suffered some devastating injuries and you've shown incredible resilience. Uh, I mean, does it even amaze you sometimes to think about what you've overcome? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I mean, I was telling this before, we, we really have no business being Super Bowl champs considering how many injuries we have. Um, you know, mostly any other team, I think with all those injuries, would have folded up and been lost and then just said, oh, well, you know, we had too many injuries, you know. Um, this team was crazy resilient. Um, it's a credit 
I mean, it's a credit to a lot of people, definitely a credit to Howie and, and the GM and, and those people putting together such a deep, a deep team, but um, it's a credit to all the guys that, that were on the bench and waiting that, you know, they were ready to go when their time came. Um, I mean, Foles and, and V and, and all these guys, um, you know, if those guys aren't working like they're training to be a starter, when their time comes, they wouldn't have been ready. But all those guys were. They stepped up and, and filled in great and uh, credit to all those guys. When did it hit you that you were a Super Bowl champion? It started to, um, you know, after we scored, uh, after we kicked a field goal, you know, and we're up eight, it started to enter my head like, oh, my gosh, like, we're, like, this close to, like, being Super Bowl champs. And then as that drive went on, it just, like, that kind of built and that kind of built. And then when that ball, like, bounced around for what seemed like forever, and finally hit the ground at the end, it was just like, oh, my gosh, like, it, it's real. It, it finally happened. And uh, I know you haven't got much sleep this week, uh, but when you do get a few minutes to lie in bed, do you just kind of look at the ceiling and just it's kind of surreal that you guys have won the Super Bowl? Yeah, it's uh, – I mean, it's it's surreal. It's it's an unbelievable feeling. Um, it's like every time I think about it, it makes me happy. You know, just looking at a picture of it or just thinking about it, a memory from it. It's uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. Um, so proud to be a part of this team. Such a great group of guys. What's been the, What's been the